What would be just one piece of advice that you would give to a trader who's watching this right now that's struggling to become consistent and funded? What would you give them as one piece of advice? Today, I'm here with funded trader Chris, who in under two months has managed to secure himself in 300K in funding, trading the power of two. Welcome, Chris. How are you doing? Yeah, I'm good. Hi, Scott. Awesome. Awesome. Thanks for being on the call today. And uh, we'll be sharing your journey over the next 15 minutes or so. And um, what's been the key turning points in your recent trading success? And those that are watching can take value away and hopefully adopt these strategies and tips into their own trading and find some success themselves. But firstly, for those that don't know who you are, please just give a short introduction to yourself. Like, how old are you? Where do you live? What do you do at the moment? Yes, my national full name is Thành Công. Uh, yeah, you mean success? Yeah, but uh, you guys can call me Chris. Yeah, I'm 23 years old. I'm from Vietnam. Awesome. Yeah, Chris is definitely a lot easier to pronounce for us on the Western side, <laughs> but um, <laughs> it's awesome. And yeah, we've got traders from all over the world. It's great to have someone, you know, so far away, but we can, you know, speak to in Discord every day and see the same level of success as people in the UK and the US. So that's awesome. And give us a background story of what first got you into trading. How long ago was that? And, and what first lured you into trading in itself? I have been in this field, uh, you know, almost five years, starting from October 2019. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Initially, I participate in stock, then moved to crypto, and finally forex. My first year, you know, is terrible. Lose, 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 lose. Like most traders' and, first years. <laughs> yes. Yeah, my family don't believe me. They said, you can cannot make money in the future, son. <laughs> That's interesting. Like the family support network is it's difficult because... They don't want you to do something that's too high risk because they actually care about you. But the way that we see it as traders is like, you're not supporting me. Like, and I hear this a lot. I had the same, you're saying you had the same as well. And most people watching this probably have that the same thing, whether it's your parents or your partner, the people that you live with, your friends, your work colleagues, they all kind of laugh at you. They say, you're still doing that trading thing, like two, three years down the line, sometimes more. And when are you going to give up on that thing? And it's difficult, isn't it? You've just got to kind of believe in yourself. Is that what kept you going? Actually, I I lost three year, three year to uh, to find myself in this field right now. Yeah. So. So you really pushed uh, yourself for three years, really gave it your all, fully committed, and it's that commitment that's got you to where you are now. Would you say? Yes. Yeah. I mean. And over the past three to five years since you started trading, what would you say? are your biggest challenges? My biggest challenge is I cannot find my strategy. I mean, exactly the strategy I want. I switch mm -hmm. to, I switch from A strategy to B strategy in three weeks, um, maybe one month. Mm -hmm. then so changing I strategies can, quite often. Yes, and I cannot control my emotion when I put, uh, put the order on MT5, you know? Mm -hmm. So would you say it was more a technical strategy kind of challenge that you were facing early on in that journey? Not too sure which strategy to choose because there's so many of them and so many strategies do work, right? But it can become a bit of a minefield, especially now. It wasn't so bad, actually, this time eight, nine years ago. There wasn't that many educators out there when I first started and there wasn't really a lot on YouTube. But now there's stuff everywhere and it's very difficult to know what route to take, right? Yes. And when did you find Evolution Markets and, and what drew you into learning the power of two strategy itself? Yeah, uh, I read an article on Forex Factory uh, okay. about the power of two strategy uh, around, I think, June, July last year. Mm -hmm. So I started watching and learning from your video on YouTube and I backtest on one point of concept awesome so you actually found us on like forums on forex factory that's interesting yes yeah so i guess as word spread you you find other traders that are learning it from some in the mentorship and some that have maybe been in the mentorship and are now learning from other resources like my youtube channels and then what was it that drew you into learning what did you like about it when you first saw that when i saw that i 
I can image my in, in my mind that strategy is less stressful for me, I think. And simple strategy, simple entry. Yeah. So the what, simplicity uh, of it. Yeah, yes. yeah. So when when you were trading just before you found the power of two on on the forums, were you trading like a, a multi time frame, very lower time frame strategy? Did you feel like you had a solid strategy that you could just explain to someone with confidence? Like, what was your strategy beforehand? Uh, I also ten many calls and made some profit in my real account before, like, but those strategy was hardly stressful for me, and I could balance my life. Uh, and I trade on one minute time frame. I mean, ICT concept. Yeah. Okay. So, so you found that trading off the one minute, executing off the one minute with an ICT strategy was just becoming too stressful and demanding on your life that you felt yeah. like you needed to shift. And then it was the simplicity and the higher time frame mechanical nature of the power of two that drew you in, I guess. Yes. Uh, yeah, the, awesome. power of, the power of two, yes. I think very simple modern entry. Yes. And using higher time frame, higher time frame trend, I mean, yes, it's good for me. I can uh, balance my life with trading and sometimes my study. Excellent. That's the thing, isn't it? It's, it's not just the technical strategy itself that's key or important. I find in my own journey and also speaking to traders almost on a day-to-day -day basis, it's how that technical strategy impacts your life. So some people are busy working. I know you work during the day and how it impacts your emotions and those emotions then creep into your family life, your network and your relationships. So if you find yourself very stressed, then one, that's going to affect your trading performance and you're not going to do well if you're stressed, right? And it's also going to eat into your social life, your family life. And it's just a downward spiral from then. So what would you say has changed and improved since learning and starting to adopt the power of two and simplifying your trading like you say it was around june july last year so it's been around a year since you've been trading it how has that impacted your stress levels uh, do you feel a lot calmer now and how has it impacted your social and family life yeah uh, the power to have me gain the confidence when when entering my trades and spend less time looking at chart and feel less stress stressful so power to coaches have me have a simple, highly strategy, and they address my psychology trading issue. And would uh, you say that yeah. simplifying the strategy naturally just reduces that anxiety compared to having a much more complex theory behind it? Yes. Yeah, there's, and... a, there's definitely a fine balance between having it too mechanical and too systematic and then going in the other direction and having lots of moving parts and having a lot of lower time frame analysis it's it's kind of finding a middle ground isn't it yes and now my family believe in me uh, you, uh, they said well done son you can do it <laughs> awesome so now they're seeing the results and now they're backing you 100 percent. that's awesome yes excellent and let's talk about the recent funding um who are you funded with and how much yeah i have funded uh 100k with five percent and i just got 200k with ftmo well done that's awesome man Incredible. Thank and you. most recently, that 200K with FTMO, how long did it take you to pass your challenge and verification stages together? Only two weeks. Only two weeks. Just two weeks, which is obviously quite rare. Um, it, yeah. So, I mean, typically, even if you could pass your challenge and verification in two months, that's still very good. You're still beating like 95% of traders out there that fail in the first week, right? But you managed to pass your challenge in the first week and then the verification the following week. That's incredible. And now you are 300K in funding across two different firms. Yes. Did you intentionally diversify your funding uh, with what's going on in the prop firm space? It's quite difficult to trust which valuation firm to choose because you have certain big names that are just closing their doors without any prior warning. Is that why you chose the 5 percenters first and then FTMO second? And when you go for your next Funding, will you choose a third firm and diversify even more? Yeah, because uh, the five percent have uh, is a cheaper for me, you mm -hmm. know, a cheaper for me. I use my nine to five job income to buy funding challenge, and I failed twelve accounts before. Mm -hmm. And 
I, I don't have much money uh, to buy the next funding challenge. Then I go, I go to 5% first and I just got funded. I take the, uh, the money of payout profit. Then I buy the next, uh, the next funding challenge with FTMO. That's awesome. So you use the profits from your first funded account with Fivers and use that to invest in a 200k challenge with FTMO, which you've now passed. And no doubt I've got your refund as well. So you're risk free on the FTMO yes. now, right? Yes. Excellent. And, and in the future, I, I, I think I will take a funding challenge with 500k I see funded. Excellent. So again, you're going to go with a different firm for your next one and go for a bigger account. Yes. Excellent. I love that. So like, let's talk about technicals just briefly and just give the viewers an idea of just how simple maybe your strategy is. And probably more importantly, to share your confidence behind the strategy. We're not going to share any charts or anything, but give the viewers a quick breakdown of what technically you look for when you first open your laptop. And let's say it's London or New York session. What is it you look for? What timeframes? Uh, what currency pairs? What, what assets are you looking at? And what is the list of rules that you're looking for before you take an entry? Yes, I starting with a four hour time frame. I looking for the clear, clear trend bullish or bearish trend with this asset. Then I drop down to 15 minute. I identify the 15 minute range. If it's that day, I have a uh, two time frame alignment, then I will identify the liquidity pool uh, for London or New York section and jump into the session. I need to uh, spread liquidity, liquidity and reshape candle inside the session and I enter in my order right now, uh, this time, Look. I mean. And what do you target? Two to one, three to one? Uh, I prefer three to one, I don't want to in the market too long. Okay. You'd rather in and out, take the profits. Small profits add up yes. over time, right? Right. Absolutely. Yeah, that's something that I, I see a lot of traders, they make a mistake. They target like a, a 10 to one and then they either move their break even too quickly and, and, and then watch the trade go without them. I mean, that happens to the best of us. Um, but also they could take partials along the way when really if they just stuck to a two to one and then, you know, had a 40, 50% strike rate and took two or three trades a week, that's when they could realistically, depending on their external factors and how busy they are and their psychology on a day-to-day -day basis, they could potentially pass an eight to 10% funding challenge within a matter of weeks or months by doing that. But it's almost that, that fear and greed battle, isn't it? Like greed of targeting too much and the lack of patience trying to pass a funding challenge in one go in one trade. And then when that one trade doesn't work so well, they kind of dig themselves a hole. But you stay disciplined with that each time. It's a very clear and concise and very simple and small list of rules that you've explained there. You just look for two time frames, hence the power of two, power of the four hour, the key driver for directional bias. You look for trend and then 15 minute alignment, 15 minute liquidity and that retrace candle and target two to one. That's awesome. And would you say that you could have explained that that confidently this time two years ago with a different strategy? Or do you think it would have been all over the place? Yeah, I feel confident right now. Uh, I think I I found you and Evolution Market Community. And, you know, uh, the coaches helped me too much. And member, member always answer my question when I'm new in community, so great. And, and you guys, I think very friendly for me. Awesome. So the power of the community is just as important as having a, a coach or a mentor, right? Yes. Yeah, being around those traders. And, and like you say, like when you first started, family weren't supportive of you, but now they've seen success. You've got the backing from family, which is great. But when people don't have that natural support network around them, it's best to have a community, especially those that understand trading that you can talk to. As long as you don't let someone else's analysis cloud your own judgment, which is the only downside to a community. But as long as you can stay true to yourself and if you've got questions and ideas you want to share, then that's the great thing about community. What yes. would you say then, Chris, is your goals going forward? I know you've already mentioned you're looking to get to 500K next. You've already got your refund back from your FTMO 200K. So you're going to be reinvesting that back in 
to another challenge. And do you have any other goals like financial goals, trading related goals over the next 12 months that you're going to aim for? Yes, my goal for next uh, 12 months is I can reach 1 million funded funded account. Yeah, you know, uh, my friend just taught me, uh, hey, you cannot do this. Is you, you are not pro traders, but I will prove them wrong. Awesome. Prove the haters wrong. That's it. And yes. more importantly, prove to yourself that it can be done, right? Yes. That's awesome. Man. And you're absolutely going to do that. And when you get to that 1 million funded goal, not if, but when, how is that going to impact your life in a positive way, do you think? Yeah, I get back money for my parents. They, uh, they, paid, they paid a lot for me uh, for... 12 years of study of my studies so i uh, appreciate them i i will give them uh, too ma- uh, too many money i have and my thank you for for raising me uh, grow like this that's incredible man so you're looking to pay your parents back basically for the financial investment that they put into you in your studies that's awesome that's the thing that family is the most important thing right and yes. for those that have children the children come first you've got parents as well your parents are your kind of your framework. They're part of the reason that you're on this planet. And it's always good to give back. That's incredible, man. That's a great goal to have and a great driving force. I like the fact that you said, I'm going to be paying my parents back, not not buying a Lamborghini, <laughs> at least not yet. <laughs> <laughs> you got it the right way around. <laughs> yes. Awesome. Before we finish the interview, I want you to give what would be just one piece of advice that you would give to a trader who's watching this right now that's struggling to become consistent and funded. What would you give them as one piece of advice? I have few work for you guys. Uh, if you haven't reached your funded account and maybe your family do, does believe in you like me, uh, just stay silent and work daily to improve your strategy. And I think important key you you must uh, you must control your emotion when you enter in your trade. And I think if you well if you done this well, you will get the result you deserve it. Great advice. That's really sound advice. So just stay neutral, stay calm, believe in yourself and don't let other people's opinions affect you and your trading discipline, right? Yes. Excellent. Thanks for the advice, Chris. And um, those that are watching this, please make sure to subscribe to the video because I'll be doing more of these every single month in between technical videos. Let us know in the comments as well and let Chris know what your biggest key takeaway from this interview is and congratulate Chris on his recent funding success as well. And I'll catch you on the next one.